Claude 4.5. New Stealth model is insane. Today I'm going to show you a brand new Stealth AI model that just dropped out of nowhere and it's absolutely crushing everything. This thing codes faster than anything I've ever seen. It builds entire VS Code clones in one shot. And the crazy part, you can use it completely free right now. But here's the kicker, nobody knows who made it and it might disappear any day. So here's what happened. A mysterious new AI model called Code Supernova just appeared. And when I say appeared, I mean it literally showed up on multiple coding platforms with zero announcement. No press release, no fanfare, nothing. This model is different, really different. It's got a massive 200,000 context window that's huge. It can process images, it can code, and it's fast, like scary fast. Now here's where it gets interesting. Some people think this might be the new Grok 4 coder. Others are saying it could be Claude 4.5. The system prompts look similar to Anthropic's style, but nobody knows for sure. What I do know is this thing works and it works well. Let me show you what happened when I tested it. I gave it one simple prompt, create a VS code clone, that's it, one prompt. And in seconds, it built a fully functional code editor that actually works, not a mock-up, not a demo, a real working app. Think about that for a second. A complete VS code clone from one prompt. That would take a human developer weeks, maybe months. This thing did it instantly. But that's just the beginning. The real power comes from its multimodal capabilities. You can feed it images, wireframes, screenshots, whatever you want, and it understands them perfectly. Now, I tested this with a plant website wireframe. Just a simple sketch, black and white, basic layout. I showed it to Code Supernova and asked it to build a website. <laughs> what came back blew my mind. It didn't just copy the wireframe. It improved it, added animations, kept the structure, added product cards, even tried to match the fonts. The AI actually failed at the fonts, but everything else was spot on. The website had jungle plants, outdoor plants, different categories, all clickable, all animated, all functional from a simple wireframe sketch. Now here's the crazy part about accessing this model. You don't need to sign up anywhere. You don't need to pay anything. You just go to certain coding platforms and it's there, ready to use. Windsurf has it, Kilo Code has it, Cursor has it. Multiple platforms are offering it completely free. But here's the thing, this might not last long. These stealth models usually disappear as quickly as they appear. So if you want to test this, you need to move fast. Let me walk you through how to access it. If you're using VS Code with one of these extensions, go to settings, look for model provider, select your platform, then look for code supernova in the model list, select it. That's it. You're now using one of the most powerful coding models ever created. But let's talk about what makes this special. The speed is insane. Most AI models take time to think, to process, to generate code. This thing is instant. You type your prompt and boom, code appears. The reasoning is built in. It doesn't just write code. It explains what it's doing. It creates plans. It reviews details. It thinks through problems step by step. And the multimodal part changes everything. You can show it screenshots of apps you want to clone, wireframes of websites you want to build, design mockups you want to code. It sees them, understands them, and builds them. I test this with different types of projects, simple ones, complex ones, front end, back end, everything in between. For a crypto trading dashboard, it built the entire interface, portfolio section, trading controls, AI assistant, all the features you'd expect. The quality wasn't perfect, but for a first pass, it was impressive. I had it generate SVG graphics, a butterfly, a gaming controller. The butterfly looked amazing, perfect symmetry, clean lines, professional quality, the controller was okay, but not great. It's still better than most AI models though. When I asked it to animate the controller, things got weird. The joysticks moved correctly, but the buttons were floating around, clearly not perfect. But the fact that it could even attempt complex animations is remarkable. Here's what I think is happening. This isn't just one model. There are multiple stealth models appearing right now. Code Supernova is one, but I've seen others on the web dev arena. There's a model called Raynar, different names, similar capabilities, also mysterious, also powerful, also possibly connected to major AI companies. Some people think these are test versions, beta releases, companies like Anthropic and others testing their latest models in the wild before official launches. Think about it. If you're developing the next generation of AI models, you want real world testing. You want to see how people actually use them. You want feedback, but you don't want the pressure of an official launch. So you release them quietly on smaller platforms with cryptic names, let people discover them organically, see how they perform, fix the bugs, then launch officially later. That's probably what's happening here. Code Supernova might be Claude 4.5 in disguise, or it might be something else entirely we don't know, and that's part of what makes this exciting. But here's what I do know. These models are good, really good. 
better than anything we had access to just a few months ago. The context windows are massive. 200K tokens means that you can feed these models entire code bases, complete documentation, huge data sets. They can understand and work with information that would overwhelm older models. The speed is game changing. When AI can generate code instantly, the entire development process changes. You stop thinking about coding as typing. You start thinking about it as conversation. The multimodal capabilities open up new possibilities. You can design visually and have AI translate those designs into working code immediately. No more back and forth between designers and developers. But there are downsides. The quality isn't always perfect. These models can generate code that looks right but doesn't work correctly. They can miss important details. They can make assumptions that aren't accurate. Tool calling seems to be a weak point. When these models need to interact with external APIs or services, they sometimes struggle. The connections aren't always reliable and the outputs can look artificial. That crypto dashboard I mentioned, it looked like an AI generated it. Clean but generic, functional but not inspired. Good for prototyping but not ready for production. Still, for rapid prototyping, these models are incredible. You can test ideas in minutes instead of hours. You can explore concepts without committing huge amounts of time and resources. The question is, how long will this last? Stealth models are temporary by nature. They appear, people discover them, they generate buzz, then they disappear. Sometimes they come back as official releases. Sometimes they vanish forever. You never know which will happen. My advice, if you're interested in AI-assisted coding, test these models now while they're free, while they're available, while you can access them without restrictions, build something, experiment, push the boundaries, see what's possible. Because this technology is moving fast and opportunities like this don't last long. The future of coding is changing. These stealth models give us a preview of what's coming. Instant code generation, multimodal understanding, massive context windows, lightning fast responses. In a year or two, this might be normal. Every developer might have access to AI assistance this powerful, but right now it feels like magic. Code supernova and models like it represent a shift. We're moving from AI that helps with coding to AI that can actually code. The difference is huge. Instead of suggesting improvements or fixing bugs, these models can architect entire applications. They can make design decisions. They can implement complex features. They can solve problems end to end. That changes everything for individual developers, for development teams, for entire companies. If you can describe what you want, AI can build it. The bottleneck isn't technical skills anymore, it's imagination, it's creativity, it's knowing what problems to solve. This democratizes software development in ways we've never seen before. People with great ideas but limited coding skills can build real applications. Designers can implement their visions directly, entrepreneurs can prototype rapidly, but it also raises questions. What happens to traditional programming jobs? How do we ensure AI-generated code is secure? How do we maintain quality standards when anyone can generate software instantly? I don't have answers to these questions. Nobody does. We're all figuring this out together. But what I do know is that ignoring these changes isn't an option. The developers who adapt to AI assistance will thrive. The ones who resist will struggle. It's not about replacing human creativity. It's about amplifying it. Code supernova might disappear tomorrow or it might stick around. Either way, it's shown us what's possible and what's possible is remarkable. So here's my challenge for you. Go test these models, build something you've always wanted to create but thought was too complex. See how far you can push the boundaries. Don't worry about perfection. Don't worry about production quality. Just experiment, learn, discover what's possible when AI can code as fast as you can think. The tools are there, the access is free. The only limit is your imagination. But remember, this window might close quickly. Stealth models are temporary. Free access is rare. Take advantage while you can. Whether code supernova is Claude 4.5 or something else entirely doesn't really matter. What matters is that it works, it's powerful, and it's available now. The age of AI-assisted development isn't coming. It's here. These stealth models prove it. The question isn't whether this technology will change everything. The question is how quickly you'll adapt to it, and that's entirely up to you. Now, if you want to take your business to the next level with AI, I've got something special for you. My AI Profit Boardroom is the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds with AI automation. We've got a community of entrepreneurs just like you using AI to grow their businesses faster than ever before. But before you go anywhere, you need to check out the free AI Money Lab with Julian Goldie. Inside, you'll get 50 plus free AI tools and 200 plus ChatGPT SEO prompts. You'll learn how to make money with AI agents, Get access to 1,000 plus free N8N workflows, 
200 plus chat GPT prompts and get a full blueprint to generate thousands of leads free with AI. Plus you get a free AI community, free AI course and proven AI case studies. The link is in the description below. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you drop your thoughts below. Have you tried Code Supernova? What did you build with it? Let us know in the comments. And if you got value from this video, smash that like button and subscribe for more AI updates. We're tracking all the latest developments so you don't have to. See you in the next one.